What's up, everybody? I just signed up with a new distributor and gave him a shot. They're out of the country, so I figured shipping wasn't going to be expensive. It wasn't crazy, but I could do better. But what's cool about this distributor is they get stuff a little faster than my U.S. distributors. And they get a little bit more interesting stuff. Like, I can't find these in the U.S. right now. Or these. <clears throat> So, and they seem to keep, you know, the good stuff in stock a little better. So we got the gloss matte, gloss and matte back in, super clear. And the little nail clipper like Mr. Easy Nippers. They also don't make you buy a crap ton of these when you buy these. You can buy them individually instead of having to buy them like at 24 of them at a time, which is very nice. I really don't think I need 24 V fins anytime soon. <clears throat> they also had a nice selection of the fancier bases. And they did have these in stock, which was nice because I've been trying to get these back in. Action base number four. No need any screws. Works really well. And then, before anybody else in the US had it, they had this one the cross silhouettes and the uh, Sankoku Den line, which should have been out a while ago. I don't know what's taking so long on this one. But this stuff is pretty cool. So let's look at these real quick. These bad boys come in really big boxes for SDs because they come. each one comes with a little bit extra. So the ones that have the little Zaku, Zaku ones or whatever they're supposed to be, on the covers, they actually come with these. I mean, they're really cheesy kits. They're like three pieces, but they come with those. So you get three. You can build little armies. If you get like three different sets that have the extra guys, you got nine right there. And then they look really cool. Gold is meh, meh. Not the worst. There's a little uh, Zaku dudes. And another thing that's cool. So that's that's the gimmick this one comes with, right? So they all kind of have their own gimmicks. That's the gimmick that one comes with. This one also comes with the three little dudes. And he has some uh, clear effects. And an awesome beard. Why not? This guy comes with this clear dragon. This guy, and this is when it starts to get interesting. So this guy and this guy, you can kit bash together automatically. So I'm sure you can do a lot of kit bashes with other guys. But if you look right here, they're telling you to take this kit and I think use his legs and stack the waist. And they have four arms and it has some, it's a bunch of combinations there, but basically you combine the two kits and you get this funky kit that looks pretty badass. So this one came with the clear dragon. This one actually comes with like a, a clear stamp. So it has a little, you could actually use it as a stamp. That's pretty crazy. Clever idea. This guy comes with horses. So that says little extras in there, chariot and horses. Uh, this guy comes with this weird thing that can be combined into a couple of different things. So I'm not sure how to describe that, but whatever. And a chain sword mace thing. But again, he has a beard, so automatically he's pretty awesome. So that's those. Then let's get to the cross silhouettes. So I can see why they had to redesign the boxes because they were a little misleading. So it says up here, SD Gundam cross silhouette CS. So CS is cross silhouette, right? Cross The CS is the bigger one. So it has the bigger dimensions and you can uh, bend the knees a little bit and stuff like that, I believe. 
Yes, he has a little bit of posability. The other one's pretty much like your standard SD, but it has a frame, which means they all use the same frame, which means they're going to be very easy to interchange. So that's pretty cool. So A1, I believe, is the SD frame. A2 runner is the cross silhouette frame. But as you can see here, this says SD frame included. It does not come with the cross silhouette frame. So your smaller boxes are only SDs. They sell the CS frame separately. I will begin those in as soon as they're available, but they weren't available at the time, so didn't get those yet. So obviously they'll be a little cheaper in this form because you have to pay for the uh, cross silhouettes uh, frame if you would like it, but they also have them already combined. But here's the RX-78 in just the SD form. Again, looks really cool. Like the old ones, you can either do either set of eyes, so the goofy eyes or the more serious eyes. They look really good. And I'm pretty sure it's none of that silliness like the last SD line where the backs are hollow and stuff like that. And the head is a couple pieces, which is really nice. So you have that big part right there. Then you have the venting parts that come around the sides. So it's going to need some paint because I'm pretty sure our RX-78 has a yellow V-fin. But maybe it looks silly in yellow. I don't know. It's a lot of V-fin. They have it posed here with the white. Now, I got, now I'm thinking about it. Does RX-78 have a yellow? It is white. They got it right. My bad. All right. So they got it right. <clears throat> but... So not too much painting, and if you did want to paint, it, it has more pieces than the old one, so that's nice. Actually, let's look at the skirt and see how they're done. So those are the vents and the top part there. So that's all yellowed already. Ah, oh, sweet. Skirts have the cutouts for the yellow pieces to push through. I don't know where they're at. But... And the red piece. There's the eyes. Oh, there they are. I guess there are these things here. So the waist must go up through there. So that's good. You got a lot of color separation in these. Way better than your previous ones. Sticker sheet is extremely small for an SD. We like that. Then this is where it gets a little more interesting. So your bigger box right here says frame select. That's the hint that lets you know you can either do SD or cross silhouettes. Now what's confusing, it says SD frame included. No, oh, and then it says CS frame included. So this one has both, said that both frames are included, opposed to this one that only has the SD frame included there. So I think that was the problem they were having when they first tried to release them is that it was confusing as hell so they had to go back to the drawing board and uh, fix that box up so they, people would understand what's going on. So bigger boxes at both frames. I believe the CS frame is on A2 and it also comes with the GM head on there which is interesting. It's super plain. You'd have to paint it to look like anything but it's on there. A little bonus I guess. Otherwise than that, I think everything else is the same. It's just the frame that changes. Most of the armor, as far as I can tell, is the same. Unless maybe they just add extra piece in there. Then the other cool one, which is just a... Uh, this is a big box. But notice it doesn't say uh, select frame. Frame select doesn't have that. It does not have CS here. So this has SD frame. So the Nightingale only comes in SD, but if you purchase the cross silhouettes frame separately, you can make it into the taller one, which looks pretty badass, actually. So I think this is a really cool idea. They're really stepping up the SD game. And this is why I've been waiting. I'm sorry, guys. You guys keep asking for SDs. I'm waiting for these to come out. Between these... And these, I knew some heat was coming. It's definitely going to push the price up on SDs, but you're going to get a lot more quality now. So I think it's really worth it. 
other cool things. So they also sell the decal separately for me. So I don't have to buy 24 of, you know, a decal that's only for, like, some old-ass kits. Who needs 24 of those, you know? They're not going to all sell. So now I can just get, you know, one or two. But this is some nice water slides for some of your older kits. So this goes all the way back to, like, I think Seed's the oldest one I have here. It's number 18. It's the 18th water slide they made. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? Look at that. Finally found a damn board model. I've been looking for a damn board model forever. And it's actually out of the machine crater line crossed over with the damn board. So it has a very militaristic look, but hey, little paint. You can make it look like standard damn board too if you wanted to. And that head is huge, and those are open holes. You can put a light in there. Easy. So you can have a lot of fun with the damn board. Another fun thing I found they had was a vinyl. I think it's supposed to be like soft vinyl. Evangelion. And it looks pretty good. I was kind of worried. That was going to look kind of cheesy. But hey, it's official Bandai, so I had a good chance of looking good. Then this, I had a customer. I had ordered the Skyline before, or GTR. And he built it and it came out really cool. So I was like, I want to build one though. So see how they really are. So are, as you can see, already pre-painted, pre, pre decal But it still has a lot of the inside stuff to build. So this is just a quick, fun build. You don't have to worry about doing any paint. What a great idea. And these are smaller Initial D uh, cars from Oshima, I believe that's how you say it. I'm not sure what scale these are. They probably are like 132nd, I'm guessing. But they're kind of plain. They will actually probably take a little more work to make them look really good than a regular model kit because like the lights aren't individual pieces. So usually in a nice model, you'll get a clear lenses and backings to the lights. These don't have that. So you're gonna have to like, you know, drop some uh, silver and then clear orange over here to get a nice effect. But these are also a lot cheaper than the regular model. So, you know, price to be paid. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good haul. I like the, the stuff they have. I wish it didn't cost so much to ship, but I think I will be ordering <clears throat> small stuff from them. So maybe my god hands and water slides and stuff like that. And, you know, builder parts when I don't need a ton of them. I just need a few of them. It works out perfectly. So I'm actually going on a little vacay this weekend. So I leave tonight and up Toronto. If anybody else up in Toronto, hit me up. Anybody have any suggestions? I talked to some people, some of my customers have been up there recently and they gave me a bunch of suggestions on places to hit up. But I'm hitting up Toronto. Store will be open. My mom will be here during the day on Thursday and Friday. And Pretty Ricky will be uh, handling the store Thursday evening, Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday. So we will be open. We will have a late opening on Friday. We will be opening at 1 p.m. on Friday. But otherwise than that, business will be as usual. So check us out. Got some cool stuff in. Floor is actually looking pretty good. Uh, high grades are actually pretty filled in right now. Master grades are looking great. And now we got SD. So should be a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.